Hello and welcome back to MyMetaverseMinute.com, your place for the latest news, views and opinions from the metaverse. Now today's episode is brought to you by Cloud Wars Expo, running 28th to the 30th of June at the Moscone Centre in San Francisco. I will be there leading tracks and sessions alongside Bob Evans, founder of Cloud Wars, and the rest of my acceleration economy analyst colleagues. Go to CloudWarsExpo.com to learn more and join me there. Join thousands of CXOs June 28th to 30th in San Francisco, California at Cloud Wars Expo as we explore a new metric called the Time to Dazzle, exclusively focused on how long it takes to dazzle customers with new business models that are enabled by the cloud, empowered by AI, and optimized with human ingenuity. Register today at cloudwarsexpo.com and join a movement to make dazzling customers the metric that matters. Now, the UK is already known as a crypto-friendly country. London is one of the crypto hubs um, of the world um, in terms of capital cities. And it's very much crypto-friendly to crypto-based organizations. And there are ever-growing um, regulations to make crypto trading, and particularly now the use of stable coins, easier and more regulated and essentially they're welcoming in this kind of crypto trading into the UK and making it easier for everyone to get involved but most recently the UK government has announced that it will actually be minting its own NFTs now this is a big step forward and the aim of doing so is to establish the UK not just as a center for cryptocurrencies and blockchain trading um, crypto trading but also as a centre for Web3 technologies. It's a really big move by the UK government, one that should be celebrated. But it really opens up the question of how other countries are going to compete at this level unless they make themselves as crypto-friendly as the UK plans to be. Of course, the metaverse isn't all about cryptocurrencies, blockchain and NFTs. However, in these early days, NFTs look to become looks like they will become the currency of choice within metaverse platforms. That's how people will transact. It's how people will um, establish ownership of certain spaces. Now, if countries want to compete in this space, they need to make sure that their regulations are equal to, if not better, than places like the United Kingdom. And a step by making, by creating your own NFT, you're really putting a statement out there that you're dedicated to doing so. But at the moment, there are many, many countries around the world that are very much hesitant to um, to enable free crypto trading and free blockchain technology um, in terms of financial markets. But this has to change. If you need to compete, you need to have this freedom. So I think it's a really interesting knock-on effect of the metaverse that actually something that people have been striving for for around a decade now for this kind of ease of access into cryptocurrencies and, you know, less regulated environments for crypto trading, it's going to have to happen. Because if Web3 and the metaverse is going to take the kind of hold that we see that it will be, or we propose that it will be, then countries will have to loosen their regulations in order to become part of or even spearhead these developments. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious. 